Hey guys, welcome to my video on finding your listening position and setting up your speakers. Hey, I heard you want to set your room up for listening. Listen, it can be really complicated, so if you put your email address in the link below, I'll send you a PDF with everything you need to know. Alright, so now that you've found the best room in your house, now we got to find where you're going to sit. The general rule of thumb is 38% the length of your room from front to back. Now if you can't use the front of your room, you can also do 38% from the back to the front. Now empty out everything in your room and measure out that 38%. Now talk. And you might find that where your voice sounds best in the room is exactly 38% or somewhere around there. Trust your ears, mark off both those areas with tape, and we'll move on to setting up your speakers. Now, once you've found your listening position, your speakers should form an equilateral triangle with your head. That means every, every angle should be 60 degrees and the distances between the speakers should be the same as from the speaker to your head. And that distance will ideally be between six and a half to seven and a half feet. You need to place the speakers as close to the wall as possible while still allowing room for acoustic treatment, which will be up to 14 inches in most cases. Just a quick note, if you have a perfectly rectangular room and you have a window on one side, put the window in front of you because the rear of the room will need the most amount of treatment eventually, plus you'll be able to use that window as an aesthetic feature. If you're using surround speakers, they need to form an arc with your stereo speakers, uh, so your center speaker and your rear speakers will form an arc with your stereo speakers and your rear speakers need to be 135 to 150 degrees off center. Speakers should also be placed with their acoustic center at your ear. So that may or may not be the tweeter, you need to consult your manual. Also they need to be oriented properly. So if they were designed to be oriented vertically, make sure they're not horizontal and vice versa. Consult your manual. The last thing that you need to consider is toe-in on your stereo speakers and that'll be dependent on your speaker's design and perhaps your room's acoustics. Now the subwoofer is a special case. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sub, you're gonna put it where your head goes at your listening position and perform what's called a sub crawl. So you'll be playing a, a looped test file linked below and what I want you to do is listen to your sub up close while you're playing this test file. That's gonna give you the most accurate representation of what your bass is supposed to sound like. Now crawl around the floor, this is not a troll, this is for real. The likely candidates for your sub position will either be corners or somewhere along the center of your room to include behind you. So once you've found where your bass sounds as similar to where it did when your head was next to the sub, mark that area off with tape or just go ahead and put your subwoofer there. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Go ahead and click the next video on measuring and test files and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.